I was stuck inside my coaching business from that 10 to 20K a month mark for the longest time. And it wasn't until I got these main concepts down that I wanna share with you today that my business completely changed. And to give you context, in the last 30 days, we did a little over $180,000 cash collected. I'll slap a screenshot up on here. I don't like to inflate numbers or lie about numbers. I know a lot of people do that in this space and I just think it's kind of one of those things where I wanna come on here and just give you real proof so you know that you're talking to someone that has actually been there and done that. And you know, this isn't our biggest month. This isn't our smallest month. It's just, this is where we're at currently. And I wanna share it with you and cover some of these ideas that you can implement as well. And I've helped over 600 coaches implement these same things. I see it very consistent. And hopefully, if you pay attention to this video and uh, maybe, it, maybe it'll help you out, it'll give you some ideas on what you can do inside your business to have finally you know, passed that 10 to 20K a month, what it seemed like just a death trap just that you would never get out of. And for me, let me just put this, yeah, it's a lot better. For me, the main thing that really changed inside my business was a lot to do with me at first. That's the first thing is it's got to do with you. You know, if you're not where you want to be in your business, you're not there yet personally, right? Like if you want to have a 50K a month business, you have to be a 50K a month type of person. And a lot of times it's, it's how you treat yourself and how you're doing everything in the day to day. So for me, to give you context, I was, when I was at that 10 to 20K a month mark, I had multiple businesses going at the time. And I thought in order to be successful, I needed to have, you know, multiple streams of income. I'm sure you guys have heard of that before. And that's the farthest load of shit on this planet. Anyone that tells you that is full of shit because you don't need that until you have so much money and so much time that you have multiple streams of income. So without going into all the detail, I hit this crazy burnout phase inside my career as an entrepreneur. And at the time I was running an agency, I was doing coaching, I had Airbnbs going, I had was big into crypto, Amazon automations, you name it. I was doing all this stuff. And this is when I, did, I was just stuck, right? And I had this burnout phase where I had like a three month period where I just shut down everything right? Like I literally just shut down everything. And I kind of went to the drawing board and had an aha moment. I was like, dude, what are you doing? You need to be all in on this one thing. And that's what changed my entire life. So that first thing I got to share with you is a quote, I believe it's from Jack Canfield in his book, 99% is a bitch, 100% is a breeze. And that's a value inside my company. Meaning if you're not all in, you're all out. So you better, you might as well be 100% all in or you're just, you're wasting your own time, right? So I think that comes down to the first thing is you gotta be dialed in, focused, you gotta be dialed in, in your life. You have to be, you know, going, if you're, you gotta be in tip top shape for health too. Like if you're not going to the gym, you're not healthy and you're just trying to work on your business and you're getting fat, like it's not gonna help. You have to be dialed in mentally and physically. The next thing, had to do with my offer and to give you context I was running an agency so I was I had a lot of I've had a lot of experience running ads uh, to date I've been running ads for about seven years now and I knew I had it I had to come up with something different than everybody else and at the time and I'm sure you guys see it all over now it's kind of it's literally comical um, I created something called the IG funnel, which at the time nobody was doing. I mean, literally nobody was teaching this. Now you go online, everybody is an IG funnel expert or growth funnel expert, whatever you might call it. And that was the thing that kind of just like separated me from everybody else. It was something unique that nobody else was doing that set me apart from all the other competition because I went in a very competitive market which was a coaching and consulting space, right? Very, very competitive. And that's how I separated myself. So you don't have to go that route, but 
I see it two ways. If you're gonna get in a very competitive industry, you have to find something that separates you from everybody else, or you have to be in an industry that's not very competitive. I'll give you an example. One of my clients, Valentino, is a, he helps parents' kids. He's a soccer coach for parent, for kids, basically, but he works with the parents. And it's such an untapped industry, the numbers that he's getting, I think, realistically last month, or maybe it's this month, he spent less than $5,000 on ads and made over $60,000 just because it's such an untapped industry with the systems that we helped him out with. And going on my point with that is, you have to have some sort of unique offer and a unique, and a unique you have to have a different mechanism than everybody else. If you're gonna be like everybody else, you're gonna get the same results as everybody else. And once you have that part dialed in, the next concept to this is simple scales, complex fails, which is another uh, value inside my company is you gotta keep things as simple as possible. The more complex you make things, the harder it's going to be to build upon and grow, hire a team on and scale. And that's why for me inside my company with the systems we build and why our clients get such amazing results is because it's so simple that literally a sixth grader could come through and do it. And that's the reasoning behind how I built my company too, is simple scales, complex fails. If you go too complex with something, it always breaks and it just usually doesn't work, at least in my opinion. So we try to keep things as simple as possible. And that comes whenever running an ad, that comes to you know hiring anybody on the team, comes to the sales call, comes to the fulfillment, comes to any system, simple scales, complex fails. When you have that in play, it makes your life a whole lot easier. Now, the next thing that we're gonna run into is you have to have a brand that is in line with what you do. On everywhere, every software, every social media, every website, you have to be known for that one specific thing. Now, going back to when I had that little burnout phase, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And not many people know this. In fact, less than probably five people know this is I actually wrote a book. And the book I wrote about was about how to invest in Airbnb as a beginner. Literally, the book is completely finished. It was, it's ready to publish. It's this close to publishing. The reason I didn't publish it, can you guess why? Because I did not want to be known as the Airbnb guy. I did at the time, like I was gonna be like a self-publisher, but then I finally figured out what I really wanted to do and that was work with coaches and help them scale because those are my ideal type of people that I've always wanted to work with because I grew up going to so many events. That's why I have a really big network right now because I've just gone to so many events and every time I'm at an event and I'm talking to someone, they're always a coach or an online service provider and I wanted to help those type of people out. But I never really figured out exactly how to do that. And it fin everything finally clicked right after I got done publishing that damn, right after I got done creating that damn book. And what I did was shipped it away. It's sitting in my Google Drive right now. And the reason I didn't publish it is because I would have a mixed persona of what people looked at me as. They would look at me as like, why are you publishing a book about Airbnb investing when you're a coach about ads? So. You know, there was money involved to create the book, all this stuff. Like I just took a big L on it, to be honest with you. But I knew at that time, this thing, the the idea of focusing and just being one, yeah, it sucked doing all that work and not publishing it. But I knew if I fast forward it two years from now or whatever it might be, it would pay off. And it clearly, it has quite a bit. Um, you know, I'll leave a video down below if you want to check it out. But I took a brand new coaching business, the one I'm talking about now, within the first year from zero to 1.4 million cash collected. And you know, this, the where we're at now, we're on pace to hit three to four mil this year. And we're gonna continue to climb from there. And that kind of goes into the last one is you've got to find direct mentorship, right? And this isn't a video like, oh, dude, Justin, I gotta work with you. I don't, I don't care. I would love for the opportunity for us to talk, but like, I'm just saying in general, is you've gotta find somebody that you vibe with 
and that has the results that you want. I'm a big component of this. You know, it's always have a mentor in my life. Always, always, always. And you got to find someone that can help you get the results you want and listen to everything they say. Right. And I think that's after we've had, we have over 600 clients inside our program right now. And you know, the ones that get the best results literally just do exactly what we say, even if they're uncomfortable with it. The ones that sit there and twiddle their fingers and like, oh man, this doesn't work. They just don't listen. Right. And that is ironically, and it sounds so stupid and simple to say is like, that's one of the most important traits you can have to be successful in the space is just finding someone that has the results you want and just paying them whatever they want and then listening to exactly what they say. And that's been a complete game changer for me. Um, like I said, I'm a big component in mentors, even at this level. I yesterday uh, just paid someone $36,000 and this is the fourth, per fourth person I paid over $30,000 to help me learn and grow. So there's always levels to this type of stuff, right? And don't get me wrong, you don't have to start and pay someone $36,000 right from the bat, but you know, you usually get what you pay for is what I found. And again, by all means, do your due diligence on people, especially if like this is your first time ever seeing my video, dude, go through all my stuff, check out the stuff, see if it even makes sense for you, see if you even like me. Like I, I promise you, I don't appeal to everybody, but for those of you that are on here, and I actually had a client come through and uh, he's bought in everything I've gone through. And um, he actually, we've helped him hit his first 100K a month. He came to us and he was in the nightlife business. Um, never did more than 5K a month with his coaching business. And we helped him go literally from where he was at, which was like, he was probably $500 that month. To last month, he j or it was this month, he just hit his first 100K a month. All because he saw me on an ad and saw my ginger beard and liked and was like, yo, you're a ginger, I'm a ginger, I'm gonna pay you, let's do this. And it might not look that gingerish right now, but trust me in the sun, it does. That's what it comes down to is you gotta be able to find people that you, you like and that you can trust and you just have to pay them whatever they ask for to get their results because that is the fastest way to results. And I promise you there you there never be a time where you're not paying for mentors if you're doing this correctly like it, there's always another level and that's essentially what this is it's literally just a game and once you get it down it's so fun and hopefully I can be of assistance so if you like this video I mean you know the drill um, hit that like and subscribe button but more importantly, I'm putting more of these out here to kind of show you guys and you know document a little bit more of my process and kind of get you more familiar with who I am, what we do. I'm actually um, on my way right now to the uh, post office, which is very hard for me to do. I'm so bad at delivering things, but let me show you this. I got my uh, client success manager, Alec, pretty much runs the entire success department at my company. These new... Uh, Nike shoes and I want to show you guys because I customized them and I think if you ask me they're pretty they're pretty fucking sick so these are the colors of my company and you know we got the Nike symbol and then what's really cool best part is though so he's uh, he's a Taurus if you can see that in there got the symbol as well like zodiac sign so anyways I'm going to the postal office to ship this and I wanted to come on here and just kind of give you the raw truth of what it takes because a lot of people don't really understand and it's it's not just one thing it never is so hopefully this video is helpful if you do want to see some more content I'll drop a video down below that case study I was telling you about on how we took a brand new coaching company from zero to 1.4 mil in just a year I think that's a really good way to get started and um, kind of understand what it really takes, like more fundamental approach. This is more like mental approach. So I'll leave that down below, check it out, and we'll talk soon.